local veteran attacked at a nursing home and then died hours later. Just one station spoke with his heartbroken family and they want to know why the Carrington Park nursing home never notified them that their loved one was brutally attacked. Investigator Kelly Kennedy has the story. My uncle could still be alive today being with our family and I just feel like our family was robbed from the last few weeks, maybe months that we had left with him. 65 year old John Carr had recently been diagnosed with leukemia, but the army veteran was still in good spirits and he enjoyed spending time with his family, including his niece Zoe Osterberg and his brother Edward Carr. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Friday before he passed away that Saturday, we were up dancing and laughing with him. And it's just been so hard knowing that how could somebody allow this to happen to him? Like, where were all the nurses? Where was the staff? John had been in and out of the hospital recently and was temporarily staying at Carrington Park Nursing Home. Edward checked him in there this past Friday, and on Saturday night, he says his brother was attacked. And that's when he told me he got assaulted. He says all he knows, he threw his arms up and he was beat on. Edward immediately called the nursing home and reported the assault. And he started complaining about a headache, and he was complaining about his arms and everything. Then John's family realized he had bruises all over his arms and head. They rushed him to University Hospital's Conneaut Medical Center. Edwards says by the time they got there, his brother couldn't even stand. The family tells me the Army veteran died shortly after they arrived. The doctor brought us in and said that because of the injuries and hemorrhaging of the brain, it didn't matter if he was a, a healthy person, zero chance of survivability. So do you have any idea how your brother was able to get assaulted without any of the staff seeing this or realizing? I don't know nothing. My brother said he reported this that night and cried on our porch and said he, they did not believe him and he was creating problems. And he reported us that, that some person attacked him and took his coat. The Ashtabula Police Department is investigating John's death. They tell me they believe another resident may have been involved in his assault. Government records show that staffing is way below average at Carrington Park. I learned that registered nurses spend an average of 18 minutes with each resident per day, compared to the national average of 40 minutes per resident. They placed him in the wrong ward, and that was a dangerous ward. He should have been in the hospice terminal ward. He was dying of leukemia. He shouldn't have been placed with three other dementia patients that could harm him. We reached out to Carrington Park and so far they have not gotten back to us. I even went inside and was told that the administrator wasn't there so they couldn't talk with me. The police chief tells me they're working to figure out if this man's injuries were directly connected to his death. He tells me they're still waiting on the autopsy. Reporting in Ashtabula, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.